Hey, good morning, small children. It's Tuesday, February 18th, and we have another grammar exercise to do today. So once again, when I say pause, pause the video, and you can write down the answers in your notebook, and then we'll go over the questions together. So go ahead, press pause now. And now you can hit unpause. Here we're unpausing. So the first section is titled synonyms and antonyms. So for those of you who remember, or if you don't remember, a synonym are words that mean the same or have about the same meaning. And antonyms are words that mean the opposite. So number one says terrible and awful. Well, if something is terrible or if something is awful, that basically means that something bad has happened or that it's bad. So that would make it a synonym. Synonyms. What's horrible and terrible is my typing, isn't it? Synonyms. And I spelled it wrong because the red line shows up and I can do that. I'm just not a good typer. Plus, there's a camera right in front of me. All right. Number two. Clumsy and graceful. Well, if you're clumsy, that means you trip and fall easily or knock things over. You just, you know, you have trouble walking sometimes. Whereas if you're graceful, you could think of someone like a ballet dancer is, or any kind of dancer is graceful or, or a soccer or baseball player running after a ball. They're running gracefully. Maybe a, you can think of a deer running across the meadow. That's graceful. So these two words are opposites. So that makes them antonyms. Ba -da -da -da. All right, let's move on to number three. Number three, look out, he called. That branch is falling. So what we have here is, is you know, we have a dialogue here. Someone's talking. So we're going to have to begin by, by with quotation marks. And then the first word gets capitalized. Look out. Now, when you say look out, you're not going to say, hey, look out. You're going to use it with some expression. Look out. So we need to have an exclamation point and followed by quotation marks. So on Monday, we learned that if there's a question mark or a quotation mark in the dialogue, you do not put a comma. And since there's an exclamation mark here, we're not going to put a comma. So we just continue typing. He called. Look out, he called. Whoops. Look out, he hit capital, all caps. Called. Period. So that's the first part of the sentence. But in this particular sentence, the things he is saying is split into two parts. So look out, he called. We have to put quotations, quotations again. That branch is falling. Oh, we got to put a period. So we, the second part, we capitalize that or the T in that with quotation marks. That branch is falling, period. Uh, you know, if the branch is falling, it's going to hit you. We're going to put an exclamation point mark. And then you get quote, um, the quotation marks in there. So this is a little bit different. This is a, maybe a little more complicated of a sentence because you have the person saying this whole thing. He says, look out, that branch is falling. But in the middle, they inserted uh, who's saying it or, or they're giving it, you know, yeah, they're saying who's talking. So you could say, look out, that branch is falling, he called. Or you could say, he called, look out, that branch is falling. Or you could do it this way. Look out, he called, that branch is falling. So you need to... In this case, you need to split up or you need quotation marks for both sides of it. All right, number four. Martin saw an uh, animal digging in the garbage last night. Well, this is pretty straightforward. At least we have something that doesn't require quotation marks here. But first, first word in every sentence gets capitalized. Martin saw. Now, here we go. Is it a or is it an? Well, the first word here, animal, the first letter, animal starts with a vowel sound, so it's not a, it is an. Martin saw an animal digging in 
the garbage last ooh this knight the knight they're using there means like king arthur and a king and his knights uh so knight is spelled wrong we need to get rid of that k and just say knight martin saw an animal digging in the garbage last night period and and that's all we have to do for that one that's pretty straightforward all right number five which word or words do not belong in this group so we have bird plane surfboard kite hot air balloon so at first glance these words may not have a whole lot to do with one another except bird plane kite and hot air balloon are all things that fly so which word doesn't belong in this group would be surfboard because surfboards don't fly they float so we have to mark that great all right that's our grammar activity for today we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>